ain't drunk. I'm just drinking. But you're so high. Oh man, you know I ain't high. But you're so high. Yeah, well I just take a little sip every now and then. But you're so high. You ought to be ashamed Stay of yourself. Drunk all oh the come night. on now, you all don't feel like that. Hey kids, happy Saturday night. I have decided to start a series of, I'm not going to call them tech tips, I'm going to call them building tips because um, a lot of you out there know me and I'm probably more well known for, <laughs> if you want to call it well known, very fucking little well known uh, for builds and how I build and things like that. And the last build video I did, which I don't do many build videos because honestly, I think they're fucking boring, but, um, <laughs> but I understand, I take it for granted, you know, and, and I said in that build video the other day, I said, you know, there's all these things that you take for granted when you do things, you know, the heat shrink and just the little things that I think a lot of these videos, these tech tips and things like that, they repeat themselves over time because those of us that started into it three or four years ago, um, you know, we graduate up to whatever we do now and then, you know, there's always new guys coming up and it's hard to search back a thousand years into somebody's old shit to find stuff. So I've decided to do building tech tips. I'm not sure I'm going to call it yet. I'll probably call it build tech or something like that. And maybe one or two a day, one or two a week or, you know, whatever the mood hits me, I'm just going to do these little things. And if anybody has a request um, I'd be glad to take those in and uh, show you whatever you want to know. I do a lot of oddball stuff and um, I don't really ever talk about it or show how to do it. So one of my buddies on the channel um, asked me the other day, he goes, would you mind showing me uh, what is your best advice for soldering up an XT60 connector to a flight controller? meaning a power lead to the input voltage, you know, the input side of the uh, of the flight control. So I'm going to take it a little bit further. We're going to do the XT60 itself. Bam, there's a bunch of them. Um, we're going to do the XT60 itself and the board, okay? Because there is a trick to it that I do. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off first with the XT60. Bam! All right. First thing I do, obviously take whichever one you want to do. If you're doing battery side or copter side, obviously that's going to be copter side. Here's your battery. All right. So what I do is I turn these so they're both the same. They're both even like that. Take a helping hands if you have it. You can just stick it in like that to, a, to an alligator clip. Um, but I have actually soldered on to mine, if I can get it in shot here, um, actual XT60s. <laughs> so we can do this if you want. You don't have to. Um, but for the time being, I'm just going to use the this. Okay, no big deal. And he didn't ask me to do this, but I thought we're just going to do the entire thing. Plug side, heat shrink, wires, and everything else. So first thing you want to do believe it or not, is not actually tin. I'm going to switch this around a little bit. You want to cut the wire first. I'll show you why. You want to use the heat to your advantage. Now, a lot of people use wire strippers. I use a razor blade just like this. And I do a little spin. Bam. Not but a peanut. Pretty fucking easy. Okay. Or actually, I don't usually even do that. I usually use a thumbnail. And even on the thick stuff, it's, it's a little bit harder. Let's give it a few pulls. Oh, that one's not given. Oh, well. <laughs> Old lady made me cut my nails. I ain't that a bitch. All right, so then what you're going to do is you're going to tin these up. So when you tin these, we're going to do both at the same time. Okay. We're going to use our solder. You want to, when you're dealing with the power side of things, you want to get that soldering iron as hot as shit. Don't worry about this. Oh, it has to be at 400 C Celsius, you know, 400 Celsius or whatever. Fuck that. Just get it hot. Trust me. I have mine on 480. <laughs> now, what you want to do, heat from the bottom side of the wire and then roll the solder over. Bam. The reason you do it that way or you want to do it that way is... If you heat from the back side and then roll 
the wire over like an abrasing process roll the solder over and it melts over the top but you're heating from the bottom you know you've got absolute full penetration of the solder okay i'm gonna do the other two ends real quick they don't have to be huge i know i'm probably not getting this in shot fuck it okay so bam you don't have to make and another thing i do advise doing is twisting the wire and that does two things twisting the wire one any stray strands that are hanging out there that could possibly cross over and short out uh, it gets rid of those and two it actually gets oxygen out of the weld joint or the solder joint okay we heat from the back side roll over and you know when you can put the wire right on the top you're nice and hot okay you're not actually putting the wire at the heat source you're 180 degrees outside the heat source so you know you're good bam just like that always clean your soldering tip too use that gold solder shit whatever okay so there you go not but a peanut easy now next bit we're going to do let's see if i can get this in a shot okay this is how i do it now it doesn't necessarily mean this is the one and only way to do it but this is how i do it i will take and i use hand solder i don't use it off the reel i use it in one of these tubes okay and then i cut it off and i do this yes i'm that lazy i don't want to refocus so what i do with the xt60 is i twist those positive and negatives out so they're both the same you want to use gravity as your friend i'm at about a 30 degree angle you don't have to be but what i do then is i lay this soldering iron in the port for a couple seconds same principle bam like that you do not have to have it filled <laughs> okay a lot of these guys think and, and a guy said to me uh yesterday or today i can't remember he's like hey shout out to those guys that have these huge mounds of solder on their shit tell them not to do that more doesn't mean better and he is right it is as much as i used to tease bardwell about this bardwell had made a comment one day about soldering is very much like TIG welding. And I am a welder, uh, a robotic applications engineer for welding. And trust me, nothing like TIG whatsoever. The guy's an idiot. But there are some premises. It is still technically, thermodynamically a weld. So, um, yeah, you, 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 more doesn't mean better. Your solder joint should be you know clean all right so the next thing i do round sides are negative flat sides are positive okay now the reason i said strip your wire first then do these is you want to use the heat the ambient heat that is in there as your alloy ally okay so now what you want to do is heat through the wire that terminal still reasonably hot bam okay There you go. Not but a peanut. If you feel the need like that one, I'd probably put a little bit more solder in there. It does not have to be completely bathed upside down in solder. It really does not. So we heat through the top of the wire. The terminal is still reasonably hot. Now, one thing you want to try to do, and I didn't do a very good job of it, still a good solder joint, but the one thing that you want to do is try to not move the wire while the solder is solidifying, okay? Uh, because that'll give you a funky joint, right? I should probably put a little bit more solder in there, but believe it or not, that's still fine. No big deal. So the next thing we're going to do and this is not what my buddy asked me to do. He didn't ask me to solder on a fucking XT60. He asked me, show me how to solder on these wires to a flight controller because I'm afraid I'm getting it too hot, which he might be. So one of the things I want to show you, it's always better to have a trick, okay? We're going to use some heat shrink, and this is how I do them. I showed this the other day. Some people like this, some people don't. Fuck them, this is how I do it. I build a lot of birds. I can formal coat the connections at the plug, okay? You get any debris or whatever in there, bam, 
You're not gonna have to worry about a short. That keeps me from having to use heat shrink on the inner wires or the positive and negative wires, okay? The other thing I do is I take heat shrink, and how many times you guys wanted to heat shrink these, but the heat shrink will not fit? There is no fucking way in hell that is gonna fit. I'm gonna show you a trick. So we're gonna measure it out. Eh, give yourself a little bit of skirt. <laughs> Barbell's like, skirt? Did you say skirt? Okay, bam. There we go, I cut that off. And it should be longer than your plug, long enough to extend over your terminals, all right? Here's the trick. It's really easy and it works really well. Heat up your heat shrink with your fingers, just a little bit, bam, like this. Twist it up, yeah, you don't have to get hot. Take some needle nose pliers, stretch it out. Use small needle nose, that way you can't overextend it. I'm not gonna rip this, okay? Bam, like that. Then you simply slide it over. <laughs> Look at that, now it fits, like that. Use a lighter, or in my case here, oh, fucker, hang on. None of my stuff's PG, you know that. All right, take my little heat shrink gun, if I can get it untangled. Blackhawk's like, the place is a mess, all right? Now we're gonna keep this up. A lighter works just as well. how I do it. Now, if you do get too much over the edge, wait till it cools, take a razor blade and just go shh, right over and it'll, you have to use that sound effect though, or it won't fucking work. Bam, look at that. So perfect. Now, the other thing we're going to do, here's our flight controller. And this was the original question. He's like, you know, I'm always afraid I'm going to fuck up my, uh, my flight controller because I'm putting too much pressure on it. Oh, all sort of crap. Now, you always hear me, it, it, I don't do a lot of build videos because I just, like I said, I think they're boring. But one thing I, you always hear me say is always heat through the wire. That way you're not, you know you're not blowing up your um, ESC or burning up your pads or whatever you're doing. That is not the case with the rear terminals. Now, if I was even doing motor wires, yeah, sure. I would, I would tin that, tin the wire, and then heat through the wire. But in the case of terminals where you've got the really thick gauge, well, the, for quads this is thick, it's 14 gauge, what I do with this, always make sure, like let's say we just tinned these up, which we did, okay? Make sure you have the same alloy content. And what that means is, let's just say I might have used this board six months ago or I just got it from Japan or China or wherever you're getting it from, always add some of the exact same solder that you used on the wires. Okay, because if you're using a lead-free and a non, you know, and a leaded solder, eh, it's not going to be good. Okay, you don't want to do that. I'll clean that up later. Oop, smoking hot wife. No, she left. All right, so now this is how I do it. Instead of soldering through the top because that does take forever and you've got more solder on the bottom here than you do on the top, meaning the wire. I actually put the soldering iron towards the back of the lead and down on the solder connection. So watch what I mean here. I'm gonna put it like this. And then I'll move it over maybe to the top. Give a little bit of a Bardwell blow. Same principle over here. Now, you should do, I'm actually gonna do that over, because I fucked up. You should do the negative side first in this case because the positive side gets in your way. So let's do the negative side first. Maybe roll over a little bit. And what that does is that dissipates your heat. Because if I just heat up the terminal down here, then add the wire to it, the bottom of the solder joint's hot, the top side is cold, it's gonna crack. If you do it the opposite way, where you're going through the wire down, that's gonna crack. So what we do is we basically split the difference. We lay the soldering iron against the wire and against the terminal, 
Look at that. I usually give it a quick cross across top. Bam, nothing but a peanut. Give it a little bit of a bar blow. Look, perfect. Bam, nothing but a peanut. Nice, perfect little dude there, okay? So that is it, that's probably a little bit long, but fuck it, you know, it'll work. Um, I'll probably trim it down, I just did this for the video, obviously. But if you look at that solder joint, son, let me tell you what, that ain't gonna break. So, hope this helped. This is one of many, many build tips to come. But that's a good way of, notice I'm, I'm touching it, I'm not burning myself. I did not overheat my board and I've got a great solder joint. So, have any questions, let me know. Tech tips you wanna see, let me know. Um, but I'm gonna try and do one a day or a couple, three or four a week or whatever else and uh, just share some of the stuff that I do. Might be great for you, might suck for you, don't know. But either way, have a good one kids, keep shining side up. Bam! Bye! Bam, JJ! Bam, JJ! Hope you like fishing.